your FYP looks anything like mine, then you have been bombarded with viral videos of people crossing the Drake Passage. It's maybe the most terrifying convergence of seas on the whole globe, and before modern boats, it's believed over a thousand people lost their lives trying to cross it. Hey everybody, welcome back to Most Amazing. I'm your host, Kennedy, and today we are diving into the rocky waters of the Drake Passage to find out what dark and spooky things have been discovered there. Let's go. Starting us off at number 10, the Plesiosaur. A few years ago, researchers unearthed the remains of a 150 million year old creature that looks eerily similar to the Loch Ness. Described as having a huge body up to 39 feet long, powerful flippers that propel them at lightning speed, and a long winding neck, the Plesiosaur was at one time one of the most terrifying creatures in the ocean. But could it also be the ancestor of the Scottish folklore creature? With its distinct resemblance even pointed out by the researchers, some are beginning to think so. But scientists have assured us that the Plesiosaur is a completely different creature than the alleged Nessie. But still, a girl can dream. Next up at number 9, the Scale Worm. This might not be a folklore creature, but I'm almost wishing that it was. One of the most strange looking things that you can find traveling along the notorious deep waters near Antarctica is the Scale Worm. The flat, creepy crawly grows to be about 10 inches long and about 4 inches wide, so it's basically the size of a small rat. And listen, I'm in no mood to spend any time with a worm that big. And that part there that looks like some sort of sci-fi eyeless head, well that's actually a retractable mouthpiece that can be turned inside out and then folded back into its body. Once it's ready to eat, it simply unrolls the mouth bit from inside its body and then goes forth ripping its prey into shreds with its razor sharp teeth. Not enough have been discovered yet to know what the population is like, and while I obviously hope that they're doing well as a species, I never want to be in a room with one alone. Coming in at number 8, Animal Remains. There are a lot of things I might expect to find at the bottom of a treacherous passage. Abandoned ships, preserved bones from dead bodies, but fossilized animal remains might be some of the most creepy I could think of. Believed to be over 250 million years old, scientists think that they've found a distant relative of mammals deep at the bottom of the ocean. Due to the insanely low temperatures, the remains were kept in pristine condition, allowing for in depth research to be done on the creature. Although they aren't sure just what it is yet, it's about the size of a cat and they think it laid eggs. Let's just hope it's not some haunted creature looking to wreak havoc on the first to find it. Coming in at number 7, a giant egg. During the dinosaurs times, what we now call Antarctica was home to many terrifying sea creatures, one of which was a 13 foot reptilian giant called a mosasaur. A few years ago in 2020, scientists discovered a 68 million year old football sized egg that they believe to have been from the mosasaur creature. If they are correct, it would be the only egg from that species on record, but it still remains the only known fossilized egg ever found near Antarctica waters. Although it's an exciting discovery to many researchers, there are some people that believe the waters in those parts are extremely cursed from the plethora of spirits who remain, and believe that all that is found should be left alone. Next up at number 6, a giant squid. Back in 2007, a crew of New Zealand fish fishermen sailing to Antarctica unearthed something that nearly sent them sailing back to the shore. One minute they're minding their business fishing for Patagonian toothfish, and the next they notice something strange in the water beside them trying to eat one of the hooked on fish. So they start to pull up, eager to catch whatever deep sea creature had its claws on their fish, and suddenly they realize what it was. A real live kraken. The 990 pound colossal squid had eyes the size of dinner plates and razor sharp hooks on its tentacles and measured somewhere around 40 to 50 feet in length. One expert who examined it after the catch said that if you tried to make calamari from it, the rings would have been the size of tractor tires. I'm just glad it didn't pull the whole ship and crew into the passage with it. 
coming in at number five, lost endurance. During the early 1900s, just about every explorer around the world was dying to explore Antarctica. But without modern technologies to help stabilize the boats, some explorers, no matter how skilled, didn't even reach the shore. But Ernest Shackleton was unlike many others of his time. After successfully completing multiple trips from Antarctica, for which he was knighted, Shackleton decided to conquer a new goal, cross the Antarctic from sea to sea via the poles. So he began preparation for his expedition on what would become his most famous exploit yet. He and his team set sail on their ship Endurance in 1914, but unfortunately the ship became trapped in a pack of ice and was crushed. Luckily the crew was able to escape, but the ship was thought to be gone forever. That was until March of 2022, when the shipwreck was spotted 10,000 feet below the waves by research scientists traveling through the passage. But despite enduring blizzards, shifting sea ice, and rough seas to find the lost boat, they were required to leave it be as it's a designated monument under the International Antarctic Treaty. But I don't know, maybe it's for the best. It was probably haunted anyways. Coming in at number four, Ninjin. Okay, so I will start off by saying that this is a full tilt conspiracy theory. But hey, strange things have been seen in this world that turned out to be true, so who knows. Referred to as the Ninjin, this Antarctic sea creature is believed to haunt the waters of the Drake Passage, and was allegedly first discovered in the early 2000s by Japanese researchers. Now what is interesting is that in Japanese, Ninjin means human, and for many years they have had a humanoid folklore creature of the same name. But still, there are some who swear the monster is real. Allegedly first spotted by a a government employee on a whale research vessel. At first the crew thought it was another submarine, but as they got closer they realized it was alive. Originally posted to 2chan, many others came forward with photos or videos they claimed to be the same creature, but officially no confirmation of its existence has ever been set in stone. Some think it could be an alien, others are firm that it's a sea monster, while non-believers think it's a beluga or some other kind of large whale that are known to inhabit the waters there. But just like every good conspiracy theory, everyone who believes in its existence is sure that the government is hiding the truth about it. Coming in at number three, iceberg fate. Currently the world's largest iceberg, A76A, has made its way into the Drake Passage. This is bad news because traditionally the Drake Passage is a death sentence for icebergs. Thanks to uncontrollable fast waves, icebergs are usually dragged eastward by the currents, sending them into warm waters where they soon melt and are gone, well, forever. At this point in time, there's no real reason to believe why the fate of our largest iceberg would be any different. But fingers are crossed that maybe this time will be a once in a lifetime event that keeps the iceberg in Antarctica. I guess we'll just have to wait and hope that it won't be another lost iceberg adding to the rising sea levels. Coming in at number two, risk of of penguin extinction. It might not be a ghost story about a cursed artifact, but truth be told, there is not much that's darker or scarier than climate change. At the rate of how things are going, ice over the Drake Passage and Antarctica is melting. And while this might have potential to temporarily benefit some creatures, the beloved emperor penguin might be facing extinction. A researcher named Dr. Wellsford says, at the rate at which the physical environment is changing, appears to be faster than the rate at which Antarctic organisms can adapt. He expects that in our lifetime, things will drastically begin to change, and Antarctica, along with the notorious passage where these adorable animals can be found, might never be the same. And last up in our number one spot today, ghosts of the dead. There are many ghost stories from the lives lost in the Antarctic sea, and some even think that the reason the waters are so treacherous has to do with how many spirits live in the cold depths of the Drake Passage. Waves will crash against the boats so hard that passengers worry it might just tip over. But still
Still, some passengers claim to have witnessed even scarier things than waves while riding through the passage. It's known to have two general states, Drake Lake or Drake Shake. And you never know what kind of day you'll have on board. But both are sure to bring forward ghostly encounters. On lake days, ghosts of the lost souls can be seen roaming around the deck, enjoying the calm sea, perhaps looking for their lost loved ones. But on shake days is when the spirits come out with a vengeance. Some claim they've seen apparitions of the terrifying spirits in the water as it crashes up against the windows. And some say they hear strange noises and see lights flickering that they have never been able to explain. All in all, the Drake Passage might just be the most haunted sea passage in the whole world. Thanks so much for watching guys. My name is Kennedy. I hope you liked this video. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Oh, and Merry Christmas! Thank you.